Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about C program for printing the multiplication table of a given number. Whatever the number that is read from the keyboard, its multiplication table can be displayed on the monitor as output. Suppose I am taking the uh, number 5 from the keyboard. So its multiplication table is displayed on the monitor. 5 into 1 that is equal to 5. 5 into 2 that is equal to 10 up to 5 into 10 that is equal to 50. Okay. So here by observing this multiplication table, so whatever the number that is read from the keyboard, that number can be taken as n. So n is equal to 5. Okay. This 5 is fixed. Okay. Here 5 is fixed. Okay. This is variable n. Okay, next one, by observing uh, this column, okay, this column, in this column, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, this column starts with 1 and ends with 10. Okay, so suppose this can be taken as variable i, variable i starting from 1 and ending with 10. Okay, next. Uh, this one is product of n into i. So, product of n into i. So, n value taken 5, i value taken 10. So, 5 into 10 that is equal to 50. 50 can be displayed. The same procedure can be applied until i value becomes 10. If i value greater than uh, 10, so the program condition is false and the program is terminated. Okay. So, repeatedly the same statement we have to execute 10 times so that we have to use for loop and printf statement. In that for loop, loop variable i starting with 1 and ending with the 10. Each time the loop variable is i incremented after executing the body of the for loop. Okay. So, this is the output of the program. Now, we can write the program. So, first we have to include uh, two header files. We already know that. What are the two header files? Standard input output header file. Next, second header file hash include console input output header file comao.h next write the main function so void main so main function does not return anything so that we have to write void data type before the main function next one what are the variables that we are using one is a loop variable and another one is variable n so these are the two variables that we are used in the program n comma i. So, this one is not a variable. This is the product of variable n and variable i. Next one. So, CLR, SCR. Next one. It clears the output screen. This function is available in the header file called coniv.h so that we have to include this header file to our program. Next one. We have to read the given number from the keyboard. So, for that one, first I have to write enter the given number. Enter the given number. For which number we have to write the multiplication table. First, read that number from the keyboard by using scanf function. So, scanf, first here we have to write percentage d as format string because n can be declared as integer variable so that percentage d double quotes n comma and present n now up to now this these two statements are printed enter the given number for this one it is printed for this one 
we have to read the five value from the keyboard. Now this statement is printed as it is. So printf multiplication table. This is only printing purpose. Multiplication table. Slash and double quotes and parenthesis close semicolon. Now to print this output, we have to use the for loop and printf statement. So for loop variable i starting from 1 and ending with 10, i is equal to 1, i less than or equal to 10, up to 10. Each time i variable is incremented. The body of the for loop contains only one printf statement. So printf here n is integer so that percentage d i is also integer so that percentage d n into i also integer so that we have to write percentage d so percentage d in between them we have put multiplication next percentage d in between them we have to write equal to percentage d each time it is printed after that it goes to the next statement next line so that we have to write slash n for first percentage d i am write n for second percentage d i am write i next for third percentage d i am write n into i so for loop close get ch main close okay first i is equal to 1 1 less than or equal to 10. Condition true. The control goes to the body of the for loop. So n value is 5. i value is 1. n into i means 5 into 1. That is 5 into 1 that is equal to 5 is printed. After that slash n control goes to this one. i plus plus. i value incremented. Now i value 2. 2 less than or equal to 10. Condition true. The control goes to the body of the for loop. N value is 5. I value is 2. N into I means 5 into 2. That is equal to 10. 5 into 2 is equal to 10. This is printed. After that slash n. The control goes to this one. Next I value incremented 3. 3 less than or equal to 10. Condition true. The control goes to the body of the for loop. N value 5. I value 3. So 5 into 3 is equal to 5 into 3 that is 15. 15 is printed. Okay. So this procedure is continued until I value is equal to 10. Suppose I value equal to 10. 10 less than or equal to 10. Condition true. The control goes to the body of the for loop. N value 5. I value 10. 5 into 10 is equal to 5 into 10 that is 50 it is printed okay after that slash n the control goes to next statement now i value is incremented now i value 11 11 less than or equal to 10 condition false if the condition is false the control goes to the next statement after the for loop there are no statements are there after the for loop no the program is terminated so this is the program for multiplication table of a given number okay so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please click on the like button if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates and also subscribe my channel in Divya Srinivasra for future updates if you have any doubts please put your doubts on the comment box I will clarify your doubts. Don't forget, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.